like that. Just like that. Right. Too far here. Because it's just us. Right. That's the whole problem. <laughs> if you look at it as a problem, because... Yeah, why are you up my ass all the time? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because we've talked so much the last two episodes on audio orgasm. I'm Rick. Kirsten. I'm Kirsten. <laughs> Here's a bunch of the show you'll never fucking hear. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway, we talked so much about our exes on the X Factors Part 1 and 2 that we decided we're never going to do that again. Never. <laughs> ever. Because nothing good can ever come no. of it. No. And it'll be a, a problem that's never resolved. Everybody just knows that. You yes. know? So we can slam our forehead against the wall as many times as we want to, but, you know, it's just going to always be. So, with no resolution or therapy in sight, <laughs> <laughs> we'll press on with other <laughs> issues. Yeah. Like with our relationship, as we talk about relationships, and we talk about pretty much everything, but for these first few episodes, we've been talking mostly to get to know our listeners and for our listeners to know us and how we think and how we function. And just like everybody else in the COVID age, we're dealing with seclusion and the lockdown and all that great stuff. Depending on which state you live in, you might have more freedoms than others. You know, we're not so bad, but... Right. We're still in lockdown, so <clears throat> yeah. as it were. And so the one of the things we wanted to kind of cover on this episode is cohabitating and how that can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Make sure you're six feet away from me at all times. Well, I could stay six inches away from you, and we all know how we measure that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> We're safe. Just wear a mask. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, since we don't go anywhere, we're not really at risk of infecting each other. No. You know? That's I true. mean, with COVID. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. But, um, tsh- exactly. Okay. Well, yes. we did meet right at the very beginning of the whole COVID thing. Right. And I distinctly remember having a panic attack thinking I wasn't going to be able to see you. <clears throat> yeah. Because... They were thinking of locking down the town you were in. Right. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm going. Yes. Yes. Determination. I thought, you know, they were talking about pulling people. We didn't know. Are they going to pull people over if they're out on the street? I mean, do I have to prove I'm going to my house or yeah. to work? Or I mean, yeah. it was just very odd. It was a very militant, <clears throat> military action kind of yeah, atmosphere. The, yeah. The words, anyway. And yeah. It, as it turned out, they didn't. Um, enforce anything really right right um luckily we live in a state where people know how to be civil yeah um but yeah i remember that and uh remember you having to explain to your roommates that i work from home yes primarily i don't really go anywhere so now we both work from home that's right yep and we're both here together all All the the time time. Yeah, we finish each other's sentences, we finish each other's dinner, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. It's true. Sit around and eat brownies together, you know, it's like hell. But, you know, so the whole idea of cohabitating in the COVID age or whatnot, you know, especially in lockdown, in a new relationship, you know, it's not just a relationship. It's not like we've been married or together for no. years and things like that. This all happened very new in the relationship. So we're very much stuck in the house all the time together and we, because we work from home and we're at home, you know, things can get a little real as far as, you know, the real world day-to-day activities of work and chores and cooking and all that. Tired and moody. Yep, that's true. You know how many times I've had PMS? You know, it's like, <laughs> my God. I'm glad those days are over. My oh, my nipples are so sore. But, you know. There's pills for those. Oh, yeah, good, pills. good. All right. Well, I'm an herbalist, so Oh, well, I there's think. herbs for that. Oh, good, good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Viva la CBD oil. God, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that's that's one one good thing for that. But, yeah, it's, you know, the whole idea of how... Do you keep a new romance new? You know, that I think that's the thing we're starting to, to see a little bit. You know, when the real world becomes a little too real. Or even just, you know, things becoming mundane a little bit. You know, I mean, you know, since we don't have to dress up and go anywhere, you know. We you can, see me in my sloppy 
clothes yep. that I'm seeing working. Like I'm wearing, sometimes still wearing my pajamas. Yeah. No bra, <laughs> stained ripped shirt sometimes. Right. It's like, hi, honey. And, uh, uh. <laughs> what the hell happened here? <laughs> well, to be, to be fair, though, because of COVID, we've never actually been on dates. In an actual date. Like you coming to my house in a car, picking me up at 8 mm -hmm. or 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, and we go on a date. Exactly. We've never done that right. because we couldn't. Exactly. Everything, Everything was shut down. It did. It shut down. It completely shut down right at the point where we would have been dating and going out and doing things together and you know i mean we had to make our own magic that way i mean yeah right. that was the did. cool thing yeah. that was the cool thing you know it's like you know being squeezed in the back seat of a car <laughs> sleeping together you know out of the ocean right you know and not get caught right ju just to get away to be together right you know, kind of thing you couldn't even get a hotel room exactly exactly that's true it was our car my car or nothing right Right. Really? Because you know. your your roommate was kind of a pill. Yeah. Oh, that's putting it lightly. Now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So so it was the car and then, um, you know, the cargo van. But the we, cargo we'll talk van. About that was a stroke of genius. <laughs> I have never been more impressed, you know, with the efforts and the creative creativeness <laughs> that went into planning a four-day little stretch, you know, in, in like, Really cold weather. Yes. You know, friggin' cold. Okay, we almost died, but whatever. <laughs> you know, we got Smurfy Blue. You know, never looked so much sexier At on least you. we would have died together. That's true. Oh my gosh. That was a romance novel for you. <laughs> but I thought that was the coolest thing ever. You know, I mean, that was like so cool. And it was just like, you know, we had our four days together and... It was like camping out. Yeah. Just, you know, it was it was it was great. I mean, in because we couldn't go anywhere, because we couldn't do anything, it was a stroke of genius. I mean, it was just like, you know, I walked out of the house and saw that cargo van, and I'm just like, oh my god, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you brought everything. You're a good little Girl Scout. You yes. brought everything we ever could have needed. And you know, coffee most importantly. Oh it's hell yeah. Coffee and a burner. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like, and we did, and it was like, I think that was really. Um, important for those first you know few weeks together that way mm -hmm. you know to, to be able to do those kind of things and make our own magic that way yeah so that that you know counts for and we had the ocean ton. as a backdrop for the first two months three months yeah so I'd pick you up and then we'd head down to the ocean because right. everyone was staying the hell away from each other so we could just kind exactly of <clears throat> yeah. to be fair we did get chased off the <laughs> property we didn't know it was private property we spent the night there and the next morning we're sitting there enjoying coffee in the sea breeze and yep. the owner of the store came over and told us you know you can't be here overnight and I'm like, yeah oh yeah no idea <laughs> oh god play a play stupid yes. absolutely <laughs> never admit <laughs> and then she walks away she's like i hope you enjoyed your night we're like we did exactly <laughs> yep yep it was you know she was very courteous in her uh you know her her main mannerisms, I guess, yeah. or whatever. So that's that was nice, but she yeah. She knew what was up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. You know, having coffee, both looking sweaty, of course. You know, <laughs> but absolutely. I mean, so I think that that was really important. But now we're to that point. We've been together six months in this house and in the home with with each other, and we're both working from home for the last what month or two, almost. You know, with with two me months. being here, yeah, about two months. And um, so we're finding that we need to figure out new ways of keeping it new, you know, and, and it's not like we're running out of ideas or anything. It's really kind of funny how you really don't realize how much sight you're losing of each other when you're both working and we both have different days off. So we got, we lost our weekend. Yeah. Um, you know, our breaks aren't always coordinated and things like that because of my stringent schedule and for yours, you know, you having to be on the clock at different times and so forth like that. So, you know, it is kind of like passing each other in the hall. It's like, hi, 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 love you, love you, love you, see you, <coughs> you know, our next break or see you after work kind of thing. So, you know, so we're, we're always looking for ideas and we also want to know from our listeners out there as well. And you can always put it in the chat on YouTube or, you know, you can email us at audio orgasm show at gmail.com and let us know what your ideas are if you're stuck in the COVID age in your house with your significant other and how you're keeping it, you know, keeping it fresh and keeping it new while it's being all too real. Yeah. Because I think I would definitely love to hear from our listeners and yeah. 
and share experiences like that because you know this is an interactive show it's not just all one way we don't want to just sit here and talk about our experiences and stuff like that I mean we talk about it because we want you to relate to it you know and be able to see that you're not alone in the same boat <laughs> kind of thing but to really make it interactive and make it fun for everybody because that's kind of like what this is all about this right. is the whole reason why we started doing it so absolutely yes so anyway but yeah so I think you know coming up with some ideas for keeping it fresh since you know like we were saying before you know our bedroom is probably the not the least used in the house but the least visited during the day correct so I think one a really good idea that you came up with was having a special spot in the bedroom to have like a seating area and a table and you know a place to kind of just go and have drinks or whatever and sit and talk a little bit that's you know outside of just the regular house and instead of being parked in front of the TV and watching TV and just kind of going brain dead but to have that time to be alone and really interact with each other decompress from the day yeah and then you know eventually moving to the bed <laughs> at some point that's always the goal and that's like the reason for the bedroom is because it's the winter and it's freaking cold out we do have a sun porch but it's too cold to hang out there right and right. we have we do have a garden you know we can hang out there but yeah for the winter you know i i couldn't quite figure out what was going on yesterday until we talked about it and i was right. like oh that's it we're, we're just both here and we don't have that demarcation where i'm waiting for you to come back from right. work you know, anticipation exactly. of yeah. like, can't wait to see your face. Right. right. You now I see your face, uh, you know, 50 times a day now. And it's like, right. I still love it every time I see it. But yeah, it's there. It's not marked. Right. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's it literally. Yeah. It's like, you know, like I said, passing in the hallway. Yeah. Kind of thing. Hi, hi, hi. You know, yeah. And all that. And yeah. It's like, you know, yeah, it's it's real easy to lose touch with each other. Being in the same house. Whoever thought that that could be a possibility. Right. Because I sure as heck didn't. You know, right. I, I honestly didn't. I did not even think about that, yeah. that that could be a possibility. So it's kind of really surprising that it is, that, you know, it's actually a thing. So, yeah. And I think that the idea of doing, you know, something like that with the bedroom, having that mm -hmm. special spot yeah. that's just for us, you know, yeah. I think that's a that's a really good idea. <clears throat> so and I definitely want to hear ideas of everybody else out there that are coming up with new ways to do that and keep it fresh too so mm -hmm. certainly yeah. absolutely yeah because what I mean the worst love in the, the COVID age <laughs> yeah I mean and the worst thing that you can do is let it go stale and mundane I mean you know I mean and, and I always really just get my nose out of joint when people say well that's the way relationships are you know that's you know they they you know the romance and everything slows down and dies off a little bit and you go from having sex 10 times a day to 10 times a year or whatever and it's like been there, done that. <laughs> right, you and me both, and it's like no, that that you know people say that that's that's what naturally happens. Why does it happen naturally? Why is that always the go-to to say that's what happens? Because I think that's just to me, and maybe I'm just being a little uppity about that, but I think it's a fucking cop out. You know, I just think it's like an excuse to be lazy and just an excuse to take somebody for granted after a while. You know, when you let it get stale, when you stop caring, and you stop doing those things because I was that type of person that never did that you know it was always I always gave it my all I always gave 110 percent and the stuff like that didn't always get that back just like you did right. you know we both were in like relationships like that where you give 110 percent and get like you know negative you know negative 10 back oh yeah oh look you're yeah. already in bed naked okay well yeah all right exactly the point case in point perfect perfect point that you know right down to the sex you know, it's, yep. it literally is, becomes remedial. It's like, oh, well, that's great timing. You know, you walked in and you're naked and I just happen to be laying here naked. So let's bang one out and be done with it. It's a, you know, it becomes functional. Sure. You know, all connections lost, you know, in that way. And I'm that type of person that I have to be emotionally connected in order to absolutely do anything physical like that because it's such a huge thing with me. Mm. God, I'm a girl. <laughs> Shit. 70-30, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so bad. I mean, I'm probably the only fucking guy left in America that feels that way. Maybe I'm not. I mean, that's what the comment box is for. You know, I mean, that's what the email's for and stuff like that. Because, you know, either I'm alone in that and, you know, I'm really in touch with my feminine side. <laughs> Good God. Or, you know, it's every 
guy in some measure feels that but just doesn't talk about it so you know and that's and i think that that's definitely worth exploring you know that way you know because i think that you know any type of relations no matter what is just absolutely lost on the loss of emotion and the loss of love or whatever that is so yeah, yeah, well, routine has a way of killing everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Right. It's your job. It could be anything, honestly. Right. Anything can, routine, sameness can kill a vibe. Yeah, absolutely. It's like sure. real life can be a cardiac arrest for love, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> no shit. You know, grab the paddles. And I mean, neither one of us have fun jobs. I mean, they're, right. you know, metric driven pains in the ass. Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, we might start out in the day like, oh, we're going to do this and this and this. And by the end of the day, That's we're like, so true. fucking tired. I'm just like, I really do love you. I swear to God. Yes. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I mean, it is so true. Definitely. You wake up with such, you know, intense love and intense emotion mm. and, and all that, you know. Oh, and yeah. you just want to just rape each other yeah. <laughs> before you even make it down the stairs in morning <laughs> coffee. And then by lunchtime, it's like, well, I'm kind of horny. Uh, maybe. And by the end of the day, I you're like, this, what? <laughs> if I eat this sandwich, I definitely need a nap. Um, <laughs> you know, by the end of the day, you're just like, oh, God, fuck it. A bowl of cereal in bed. You know, yeah. kind of thing. So, yeah. Set the alarm for five. We'll see what comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You're yeah, hoping for morning wood. You know, so... I don't know how it is for you girls. And I, I'm not even going to touch that. Uh, I'll just leave that Aww, there. And you're you not going to touch it? Well, <laughs> I'm touching it now. <laughs> oh, that's myself. Never mind. Anyway. Well, you are part girl. So yeah, that's true. We won't My, talk about which part. But. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. You yes. cute little nipples. <laughs> You had to go. You went there. <laughs> I did. I swear to God, in good taste, you still went there. Oh, fuck. Anyway. What's good taste? I right? mean, look at the title of this show. That's true. It's the reason why it's called what it's called, <laughs> because anything will fall out of our mouths. Anything. Anything. True. So, it's true. It's so true. And that's the one thing I absolutely love about us in this relationship, is that we can both absolutely be 100% freaking real, and we still love each other for it. Exactly. We actually celebrate each other for it. It's like, oh my God, thank you for being such a a fucking nut job <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking right so true You're god kind of nut. that's true it's like god there's no nobility in normalcy so it's very fucking boring it so is i lived with normal well on the outside <laughs> well yeah yeah exactly oh yeah it's like you know i mean if you know you can be dysfunctional you know you can be kind of out there you know on a fringe or whatever but when it's, you know, when it's not fun, <laughs> you yeah. know, when you do it and it's not fun and it takes and robs from others, then that's just wrong. You know, you could be a <clears> nut, <throat> but as long as you're celebrating the wackiness in the other person and you're supporting that and, you know, you're enjoying it and it's fun and all that, then, you know, fucking more power to you. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> You know, so hopefully we have a bunch of fucking whack jobs listening to this show because well, we definitely cater to that. <laughs> so, I mean, most of the conversations so far here have been pretty tame. Yeah, yeah, We absolutely. really need to record ourselves first thing in the morning. Yeah. And, like, we wake up early in the morning, we start hammering at each other, and we just laugh and yeah. say ridiculous... Because, it, so, right, the, it's before the brain cells really turn yeah. on, before you get a no chance filter. to think about it. Yes, <laughs> no filter. Absolutely, 100% no filter. Yeah. So, yeah, and that's true. And it's like we try to do that, you know, even with this show. It's like, obviously, you see that. We have no filter. We say whatever we feel because we say whatever's real. That's the whole point of this this show is for it to be real. Yes, and let's not forget we wanted this. Yes, we wanted to be together as much as yes, possible. Yes, absolutely. And we got what we wanted. Yeah, yeah. So. Yes, 32 years in the making. Yes. In a, in a weird way. It's that we talked about quantum entanglements before on the show. We talked about parallel lives and whatnot on the show. You know, it th is the weirdest thing ever because, you know, when I met you, I thought you were five years younger than me. You thought I was five years younger than you. You know, I thought that you came from like this really uppity rich family and stuff and that you were just this really quiet type of person that kept to herself and like, but, but was like, you know, my initial impression was, is that, oh my God, I'm too good for her and, and she knows it, you know, kind of thing. 
And so, you know, I, you I, too I good always, for me? yes, or no, that I would, that you were too good for me. Oh, see, that's and what that I you thought. knew it. Yeah. Right. Oh, no. And see that you knew that you were too good for me, but yet you talked to me anyway, just out of politeness is what <laughs> I thought. Honestly, I swear to God, that's what I thought. And I was absolutely madly in love with you. And I thought there's no way I'm going to have a shot with you that way. You were way, I was batting way out of my fucking league on that. Ah. So I thought, so I thought, mm -hmm. and thinking that you came from a different background and you know, that you were a different type of person. And all this other stuff, but to find out that we have lived such parallel lives with growing up the same way in the same dysfunctional family, yep. the same going through school with the same type of, you know, bullyisms bullshit. and whatnot from people and bullshit and from te right, from teachers to bullies to whatever. I mean, it's like and being very introverted inward. Absolutely, a lot of ways. Absolutely, that absolutely. Was the way to protect ourselves, right? Absolutely, you in definitely chaos. shut down. You shut down. You close off. You stay on the fringe. You become an observer of life, you know, as opposed to taking part in it. Because you know, nine times out of ten, you find nobody wants you to be on their fucking team anyway. So it's like <laughs> fine. True. So you march to your own fucking drum, and we both did that. It, that's the amazing part. Is, is that the misjudgment and how I thought you were, and then to come to find out our lives are so parallel right. are so identical it's fucking spooky it is you know it is and i think that's a big thing though that really helps with our bond big definitely time. definitely absolutely yeah so i mean i think that's that's great you know it's like you know every nut job should find a nut job <laughs> you know somebody who completely understands their nuttiness exactly in a way. it's just like oh this is perfect right absolutely <laughs> Yes, it's like party nuts. You may be a different nut, but you're both nuts together in the same fucking can. That's right. So, absolutely. <laughs> and you complement each other when you're eating together. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, take that as you will. You're the best looking cashew I've ever seen. Oh, I'm curvy. <laughs> yes, shit. Oh, my God. I'm like a fucking pine nut. I don't know. Shit. Pine nut? I don't know. It's long and skinny. Oh. There are no nuts that are long and skinny. Oh, it's a party mix. You're a pretzel. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, party You're mix. You're a stick pretzel. It's a Chex mix. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pretzel. I'm a pretzel stick. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Good God. That's funny. We're now, we're now down to judging each other by food. Christ. Well, we do share that love as well. Uh-huh. Oh, absolutely. I think that's one of the big things being stuck in the house is that we're finding new ways to literally peg out. I know. <laughs> so, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so we're both very good cooks, so it can get a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. We even have that talent in common. We're both yes. really good cooks, and we both were really good cooks in our previous relationship, too. Yeah, you know the cooking was mostly my my um, mm -hmm. uh, chore, and that was yours too. So, you know, it's good that we actually get to cook for each other. You know, and, the, and that the chore is not solely based on just one person or whatever right. having to figure out what to fucking do. And when we both come up empty, it's DoorDash to the rescue. So, absolutely. <laughs> All hail DoorDash and Zoom. <laughs> um, oh. Really wish I had thought to invest. <laughs> no shit, boy. Missed that fucking train. Oh, man. we could Every time, up. yeah. We could have been retired already. Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, we, we would be watching it rack up, I would, I would imagine. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, definitely. But too brain dead from my dumb brain dead job, so... Yeah, yeah. I know. It is a soul-sucking, endless cycle, but, you know, it, it pays the bills. It pays the bills. Yep, that's one of the, that's things, about that we, it. It's one of the things we kept saying. It was just, it was a means to an end to pay the bills, keep the roof over our head, and be together. Yep. So, you know, it may suck as much as it sucks, but, it, you know, it's, it's providing us with a way of life that we can actually be together and right. have a life. Exactly. So. And, like, when we're bitching about our jobs, you're not saying to me, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 it'll get better. Right. All that crap. It's like, oh, yeah, they suck, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, a bunch of fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. You know? I it's still like... remember that when you told me. It's like, you know, when you, you had, you first time you told me you were having such a crappy day, and I told you on the phone, I think I texted it to you or something that just says, who do you need me to kill? And you're like, oh my God, that is the best answer ever. You said exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. So, absolutely. We'll make a kill list. You know, kind of thing. Thank God there are no church steeples. Just slap or... hard, really. I mean, I don't want yeah. to go to jail, but... Exactly. But yeah, you know, <laughs> if it was legal to choke out your boss, you know, <laughs> and really not get written up for it, then that would be perfect every time. 
and I'm sure everybody Can knows what we're talking that. about. Yes. Absolutely. It's so true. Production it's so true. jobs. And, oh gosh, yeah. I feel so ass. sorry for people working for production because I've worked it and I absolutely hated every minute of it. Well, this is considered production. It is. You're doing what I'm doing. Virtual production job. Virtual yeah, production absolutely. job. Absolutely. With all their metrics and their schematics and their barcodes and yep. their... All that crap. It's true. It's I, I've said it before. It's, it's it's likened to being back in high school where everything you do is graded, everything you do, do is judged. Everybody has an opinion about how you do what you do. Yep. And everybody tries to box you in and conform you. Sure. You know, and then penalize you for it. Yep. For any random thought that's outside of the specs of policy, which sure. is absolutely fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> Be but, a robot. Yeah, exactly. That's the message. Be a robot before we give your job to a robot. Well, at least we're here being robots together. So yes. we can commiserate in between having to go back to Right. Work. There's always a shoulder to cry on. So there's like, I think there's an even amount of, there's more pros than cons to right. living together during this oh, absolutely. situation. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's the good part about it. And it's like, you know, because... You know, we are together all the time, which is what we've always wanted. Right. Obviously, you know, it's like we're making the most of the time together, keeping it fresh, keeping it real, you know, functioning as adults, you know, without losing that, you know, teenage, you know. Zeal, shall for, we say? For each other. Good word. <laughs> Glad you came up with it. Yes. And so that's one of the things we also want to hear about from everybody who's listening to the show. I definitely want you guys to take part. You know, everybody. Leave us comments. Send us emails. Whatever you send us, we'll definitely share if you want us to, because we definitely want to hear back from everybody on, you know, on anything that we talk about on the show, any perspective, you know, that way, because, you know, it, it is totally interactive. You know, that's, we, we love that idea of being able to reach out in this COVID virus, talk to people and have them talk back and really help each other through getting back to some type of a semblance of normalcy you know, with this existence that we're in right now. Right. So, you know. Exactly. And that is my TED Talk. <laughs> so Get out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely true. I know. We are up each other's ass. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Good thing yours is cute. <laughs> yes. And good thing yours is curvy. <laughs> so, just what I like. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yes. And so, <laughs> with three more minutes to kill... <laughs> Really? Yes. We definitely want to hear ideas, obviously. Yeah. You know, because we're going to continue to come up with ideas. And we're also looking for show <laughs> topics as well. If there's something that we're talking about that interests you, great. If there's something that we're not talking about that you think we should, absolutely let us know. Because mm -hmm. we definitely love the input. And if I, again, I gave it before, I'll give it again. Email to reach us, obviously, is audioorgasmshow at gmail.com. Also, can leave messages on our YouTube channel in the comments on each video of the show that we do. And we definitely want to do tons more. Yeah. And we're going to anyway. We're going to try to be more, do more impromptu, like when we first wake up. We're going to figure out a way to, like, just hit an on button. Right. And record all the ridiculous stuff that we Oh my we gosh. Say. It is so random. Because <laughs> we just make so each other there. laugh. Absolutely. First thing in the morning, which is important because in this in, in, in any relationship, no matter what's going on, it is definitely oh absolutely important. You know, because if you can't laugh at it, you're definitely gonna cry about it. So sure. you know And we don't have anything to argue about. We don't have kids, no. we don't argue about money and we don't what are the three big things? Sex, money and children. That's right. Well yeah, we've got that conquered. <laughs> Shit, we're the kings of the universe. Right. Fucking Christ. So, so true. get yourself a middle-aged bow and you'll be all set. <laughs> That's right, exactly. Yes, bat within your own league. <laughs> so, no shit. Absolutely true. But definitely, we're going to definitely do lots more shows and we want a lot more input from you and we hope that you do. And I don't know what our next show will be about because we haven't planned it yet, but it will definitely be soon. Yeah. And so, until then, we want to thank you guys for listening. I'm Rick. I'm Kirsten. And we'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.